Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Melinda and today I thought I'd share with you how we take care of our blackberries. We're in the Pacific Northwest and we uh, have Himalayan blackberries that are considered a noxious weed and have really taken over. And if you live on any sort of acreage, um, usually tend to battle them. And here we're surrounded by uh, an easement um, that's uh, like 10 feet easement between the neighbors. It's full of blackberries where we have an area by the creek that on the opposite side is full of blackberries. And when we first got the house, it, um, was blackberries from the top of the creek down to the creek which we cleared. So I've learned a lot over the last 12 years, 13 years, how to um, deal with them. And so I thought I'd share with you today um, how I go about it. So, but first I wanted to start off by saying um, that here in the Northwest we have um, the most abundant one is that Himalayan blackberry which has really big thick um, canes. We also have an evergreen blackberry which has more um, serrated edges it's more finely toothed um, so sometimes you'll see that and then we also have the native trailing blackberry which has round um, kind of a bluish green um, vine that runs along the ground and they make lovely sweet berries um, earlier in the the season and uh, we have a few of those we actually we have all three of those varieties on our property um, and my son he seeks out that that native trailing blackberry those are his favorite Falcos. My favorite tool and then lately I've been using these smaller um, length uh, little pruners because they're lighter weight than my longer handled ones and they can still get through the bigger canes so I've been liking these um, a lot lately so those two pruners to um, get things pruned down but if you've got a really large area um, of blackberry you can also use um, some hedge trimmers the electric hedge trimmers We're Work, which work really well um, to get down a larger area. So you can like kind of start and get the bulk of it out and then you could go back in and use the, the finer um, pruners. And then also I usually use um, a little three or four pronged rake. So once it's cut down, then I can pull the canes away and um, you know, get in there and do more fine tuning with my pruning. Other ways that people can go about removing blackberry are with sprays um, that will kill them. But on our property, we, we've tried that, but we have found that um, they tend to come back unless you really get the roots out um, or constantly treat them, they will come back. So it's not my favorite method. So I, I stopped because I wanted to show you guys an example. You can see here that this, see these leaves? They're more serrated. This is the the evergreen blackberry and these leaves here this is the himalayan blackberry so here's some more of the evergreen so we have a little mix the himalayan are definitely more strong um, more noxious than this evergreen but um, they make smaller sweeter berries which my they're my dad's favorite actually um, <clears throat> but you can see how they they can intermix Another popular way of getting blackberries is by renting a herd of goats and having them come and eat the blackberries in your field. You'd have to be careful, of course, if you have ornamental plants in the area because they are not picky. They will eat whatever is there. And sometimes they don't always eat the blackberries. They might choose the grass instead, so they can be picky. Other animals that uh, like to eat blackberries are pigs, but they of course will root in the ground, um, which is good because they'll get the, the crowns out, but they also leave it very um, muddy. And uh, it would be okay if you were you know, growing a uh, field, like a vegetable garden or something like that, but otherwise they can get pretty messy.
so once you have the crowns isolated, like I've got a few here, um, then comes in my favorite tool. This is an anvil pickaxe combo. Old one that was my dad's, so it's probably older than I am actually, but it works great for getting the crowns out. Good exercise too. Himalayan blackberries will propagate from seed from like birds or other animals eating the berries and pooping out the seeds. They can also uh, root from runners underground and the canes can also, um, you know, when they grow over and hit the ground, they can root in and form a new plant. You can see where it hit the ground and made, there we go, made uh, some new roots. So get rid of that guy. nice big crown and how it sends out fruits and runners and these would make new blackberries probably this year. This is the area along our creek bed that we've been working on getting cleared out. It's got the canary reed grass and blackberries all along the edge. So you can see some of the, the blackberry canes sticking up, which I'm going to be cutting down to the ground and using some of that concentrated weed killer to um, work on killing the roots so we don't disrupt the creek bed edge. just using a small bit of that concentrate so as not to get it anywhere near the creek. So thanks so much for tuning in today, learning how to deal with blackberries. And if you uh, like the video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I do appreciate the support. Thanks so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.